Welcome back to my channel. I'm Morgan Monet. If you're new here, hey! I love luxury accessories, makeup, and skincare. So if those topics appeal to you, hit that red button below and subscribe. Why not be a part of the Morgan Monet family? Okay, okay, so I know you clicked this video because you're super interested in seeing maybe one of two things or maybe both, uh, but I can tell you that the first part of this video is really going to be telling you guys what I have in my Pouchette Matisse. And the second part of the video is going to be giving you my three month review on the handbag and a little bit of insights into maybe addressing which Louis Vuitton Pouchette Matisse you personally should buy because they have three bags. You can get the canvas, the reverse canvas, or the emprunt leather. So well, let's get started. All right, you guys. So here it is. <laughs> I love it so much. This is my Louis Vuitton Pouchette Matisse and I actually have the handle wrapped in my Louis Vuitton pink, gray, and white bandeau just to add it a little bit of extra pop to the bag. But I'm gonna show you guys what fits in my bag and what I normally carry in it. So let's get into this what's in my bag video. So you easily can click this right um, digit to open up the bag and this is what I have on the inside it's nicely packed so I think I'm going to start from the back and move to the front so in the back of my bag I have this little small bag it's um I call it like I guess it's just like a it's a normal ziploc or a zipper bag um, but I actually got this from Paris and it's from Delphonics and if you can see it has a picture of the Eiffel Tower but I keep this in the back of my bag and what's inside are um, I keep like an extra charging cord a little booty is what I call it that you can plug into the outlet and then my airpods so I always just keep this little, it's like an electronic bag in the back of my bag. And then also in the back, you can find my keys. And I keep my keys in the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I love this guy. This is literally one of my favorite small leather goods or if you like to call them SLGs but um, it has my fob to get into my apartment, a little pouch from um, my dad's sister, and then obviously the pink pepper spray that my mom got me <laughs> once she figured out that I was going for walks around my um, apartment building. And then what I personally love is that on the inside, it gives you um, six key rings where you can put your keys, and then also there's like this back you there's this back slit where you can have an extra little stash of cash and I think I just have five dollars back there just in case a situation occurs now I don't know how much five dollars is going to help me if a situation arises but at least I know I'm carrying five dollars in cash on me but I typically like to keep both of those two things in the back slot of the bag. Oh, usually like to keep those two things in the back slot of the bag. Next, in the middle portion of the bag, can you see that? I have, making sure you guys can see this on camera. I have my Louis Vuitton Zippy Wallet in the Damier Aben print and open it up and obviously inside I just have my debit cards credit cards there is a like middle slip pocket or zip pocket where you can have your change um, there's an extra little slot in here I really don't use this slot for much you have a place where you can like put your receipts and then the other side of the wallet where you can have other little card slots 
also in this middle pocket I like to keep a face mask we all know that we're dealing with COVID-19 so just having like this extra mask in my bag is super just helpful just in case like I forget to bring a mask from the house and just as a way of extra protection and then I have this receipt from Walmart yeah I guess I bought it says I bought a sponge a wet brush brow comb so I think this is when I was like buying um <laughs> I was buying hair care products from Walmart because I can't currently go to my hair beautician so I've been trying to wash my hair on my own so that's what this receipt is from and then also in this middle slot I have a pen which I actually love this pen because the end of it I don't know if you can see this or if it'll focus but the end of the pin has um, one of those little grippers that you can actually touch your cell phone without having to like use your fingers and then in the front part I have some tissues hand sanitizer obviously we want to be clean and I always carried hand sanitizer even before COVID um, a pack of gum this is actually my favorite gum i love trident and this like orange flavor just it's so flavorful to me that i love it and then i have some chap chapstick from pharmacy it's their honey butter and oh my goodness if you guys are aware of the pharmacy honey face mask and you've tried it let me know down below in the comments because I've seen it on Sephora and I'm very interested in it it's currently sold out but I want to know if if I should purchase it like have you guys tried it out is it good um, because I know for a fact that I love this chapstick it like really helps with if you have like cracked lips or if they're dry so I want to know if like I should actually like buy the face mask um I also have this Indie Lee lip treatment which it says it prepares and protects your lips I also like this because it gives me like a little bit of a gloss or a shine to my lips I also have this Indie Lee hand lotion and This, oh, it's my Gucci Bloom um, little, I think this is a roller ball. Yep, so my Gucci Bloom roller ball. I like to keep like a little bit of hand, uh, perfume in my bag just to like touch up. Um, but I personally love the Gucci Bloom just because it uh, obviously smells florally and it's, it's still like a sophisticated scent to it. So love this guy and then lastly in the front pouch of this bag i have my bite lipstick it's a mini it came in like a set of four but it's currently the lipstick i'm wearing right now i just i think it looks so flawless on my skin and i have my mac plum lip pencil so i personally a lot of people i know like will use like this back flap or this back like pocket i personally oh i actually do have something back here so <laughs> found something new it is a mac lip gloss this is uh viva la glam number six it's a pretty like pinky color and then i also have a lip pencil in the color chestnut <laughs> What I was going to say is I typically don't like to use this back pocket to like put my cell phone in just because it my cell phone has like a little gripper or a grip on the back. So it's like weird for me to kind of take it in and out when I have stuff in my handbag. But um, apparently it was convenient enough for me to put my um, lip gloss and lip pencil. So that's what's currently in my Louis Vuitton Pouchette Matisse handbag. So. so when you open the bag, there are three different slots. Let me try to, it's cause it's not wanting to cooperate cause I have my bandeau on the handle, but you have three different slots, a back slot, a middle slot, and then you have the front slot. 
gut products falling out. So um, for me, I love the fact that I have three different pockets and I actually do use all three pockets. Um, a lot of people don't say that they have issues with like the brown interior um, affecting the bag. So that's, I haven't had any issues with that either. Um, and for me, I just feel like it's, it's easy to use because of having the three pockets. Um, and that's actually been one of my favorite things about the bag. The fact that it has these three pockets, it's easy to organize and keep all of your items in one specific place. And then obviously on the back of the bag, there is a zipper, which you can fit your cell phone in it. So I have the iPhone 10 XR. It does fit in the back of the bag, but for me, it's just a little bit challenging when I have my bag filled with stuff, but other people say that they do like to use this back pocket for their cell phone. So all in all, I can say that I do love this handbag. Um, it also does come with a a strap which is adjustable so there's like these different little notches where you can adjust it based on your body height and um it has on the side of it you can see the the d-ring which says louis vuitton um again it has the the side of the bag has the untreated vachetta and then obviously on the other side the same thing as well so my overall review of this bag is I do love it. It is my new, my newest favorite Louis Vuitton bag. I never thought that anything would take the place of my Neverfull, but it definitely has. Um, a lot of people say like, do you think it's worth it? And what are the options between the um, canvas versus the uh, reverse monogram versus the emprunt leather. Uh, but I can say that for right now, for this to have been like my first Pouchette Matisse, that I am overall happy with it. Um, I would tell people that if they want to get this bag to just be cautious about buying it pre-owned or um, pre-loved just because a lot of people have issues with the side glazing of the bag like a lot of people say that their glazing ends up coming undone on the side or um, their glazing ends up coming undone on the side of the handle i personally haven't had that happen to me in the past three months but I would just say if you're buying it pre-loved, be cautious of that just because if people have had these defects, you don't want to buy um, a defected bag that was maybe reglazed. So I would just say in my own personal opinion, just be very mindful of that. Um, when it comes to maybe if you want to get the overall canvas versus the um, maybe like the reverse monogrammed canvas bag, note that the reverse monogrammed canvas bag, and I will insert a picture, that bag does have treated leather on the front tab and on the handle. So if you're less cautious with handbags and you're afraid of um, maybe rain spots or if you're in a more rainy area, or maybe again, like I said, like you're just less cautious with a handbag, maybe the reverse monogram may be the better investment for you because it does have that treated leather on the front and on the handle. Now, in terms of like the emprunt leather, a lot of people say that with that bag, they love it. It's an all leather bag. Most people say that their only issue with that bag is really just the leather creasing. But other than that, they really don't have any issues. Um, in my personal opinion, if I were to buy any Pouchette Matisse pre-owned or pre-loved, it would be the emprunt leather. And that's just because it's an all over leather bag. And a lot of people haven't commented or maybe noted that they've had glazing issues with that bag. All right, you guys. So that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I carry in my Pouchette Matisse and also my review on the overall handbag. Be sure to hit that red button below and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. I'll be sure to list all of the handbags or items that I've mentioned or discussed down below and I hope to see you guys in my next video. All right.